Is Barack Obama a hypocrite? Absolutely. The president at a certain point embraced the super PACs, embraced the outside groups. You know, he made Citizens United a household word. I mean, we, you virtually can't find anybody who doesn't know what Citizens United, the Supreme Court case is. I'm, I, I'm grateful every single day uh, because, uh, uh, you know, he is really made us even a bigger uh, and more um, influential entity than we, were, than we were before that. I look at remedies that they talk about and I get very nervous. There were many of our founding fathers that did things without their names on it because they were afraid of retribution. And, and some of our most, some of our greatest work was written anonymously. They're trying to create incumbent protection acts. Um, and that's really all the Disclose Act is, is to try to put fear into the American people from participating in the process, chilling free speech. The American people are incredibly smart. They make good decisions. I don't agree with every single one of them, right? I, I was hoping they would rectify a mistake they made in 2008 and not vote for Barack Obama again, but they did. I live with that. I, it's okay. I mean, I didn't support him. He is our president now, again, for four more years. Money doesn't buy elections. Three or four hundred million dollars by just one group, you know, on the right, did not buy an election. Just didn't. So we have a lot of work to do. Don't get me wrong. We have a lot of work to do. Look, I, I believe we had a failed nominee this time, so I, I, I don't put a lot of, um, of belief uh, into the arguments that the conservative movement is gone or the Republican Party is broken. Um, I, we lost this election very narrowly in those um, battleground states. From my point of view, uh, in, in donors that I speak to, uh, in other conservative leaders that I talk to, um, you know, the consultant class is under assault uh, on from our team, uh, from conservative leaders, from donors who are saying, what happened? Where did the, you know, how was that money best spent that way? Um, and I think that, yes, there's going to have to be a renewed um, uh, understanding of what is best going forward. I think the consultant class recognizes the very fact that it's not just throw it up all on TV and radio uh, is going to work anymore. It's tough for your average person without a battery of lawyers and accountants to enter the political space in this country, still to this day. And, and our victory helps that. When you don't like the rules, you take them to court if you think they're unconstitutional. And that's what I did. I felt that McCain-Feingold was a violation of the First Amendment. It actually criminalized political speech. The Democrats hate it because they think that it benefits us. I think it benefits everybody equally. We don't have a monopoly on, 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 on rich folks who want to participate. There's plenty on both sides of the aisle. Look, again, I believe that more speech is good. I believe that the answer to speech you don't like is more speech, not regulating the speech you disagree with.